Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Clevo, and today we are playing Pokemon Scarlet. Now, if you don't know what Pokemon is, I don't know where you've been for the last 20 plus years, but Pokemon is a massive franchise for the Nintendo family, and they've just released two brand new games. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Now, I'm playing Pokemon Scarlet for the purpose of this video, and actually the purpose of this series, because this is going to become a series of Pokemon, because I'm going to play the game from the beginning to the end. We're going to go through the journey together, um, and you're going to see the Pokemon that I catch, you're going to see how we raise them, we're going to see everything, absolutely everything, I hope. We're going to try and do as much as we can in this game, Let's find as much as we can, and uh, have a lot of fun along the way. So I do hope you join me for the ride. And uh, of course, if you do like what you see today and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you can keep up to date with everything that I do post. Also, don't forget to like and share the video with your friends and family as well so they can enjoy it as much as you did. And also it means that more people get to watch this content. And of course, make sure that they share it and like it too. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to get into this in a moment. But uh, I do want to say as well, guys, that this is actually going to become a daily, daily series. So... I know I've been posting weekly on a Wednesday, but uh, for the purpose of Pokemon, I really wanted to get as much content out there as I could, so then you guys can enjoy it, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to be making a daily series of this, so starting today, today is Sunday, uh, two days after this game came out, and I'm doing my audio, so this is also going to be a voiceover audio as well, just because I wanted to just play the game, didn't really want to mess around with trying to sort my audio out, and maybe forget to talk, and yeah, it, 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 I just wanted to play, so... That's why this is uh, going to be recorded over the footage, and the likelihood is for the rest of the series that's going to happen as well. But uh, again, please do join me the ride. Now right now, you can see I'm just playing around with the, the different menus to try and see what I want to, how I want my character to look. And uh, yeah, we're enjoying a bit of that. Once this is done, then we'll be able to get into the game. But yeah, again, guys, I do hope you are going to enjoy this series. I really, I mean, I've massively enjoyed so far playing this this game, and uh, I want to continue playing it, and I will be continuing playing it, and I'm going to keep playing it, and I'm going to play it for hours upon hours upon hours upon hours upon hours, upon hours and every single hour that I record, I play, I'm going to record for you, and I'm going to put it into a video. So I hope it is entertaining uh, for you guys. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I think we're about ready to get in. So we've got our enrollment application for Naranja Academy. Our language is English, and our name is Clever. Of course it's Clever. I mean, that's my name. That's by YouTube, at least. My name is Clever, so that's what we're using for this game. But anyway, I think we're about ready to start. So uh, here we go. And yes, enrollment complete. Let's uh, take a wonder into the world of Pokemon. So this is Naranja, Naranja Academy. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. All right then. Really cool music, I do like it. Vibing with this music. Leave, down a com leave a comment down below. And let me know what your favorite Pokemon music is. From any of the games, it could be any of the games. I mean, I, I'm loving the music in this game at the moment, but I must say, Pokemon Gold was my favorite game, and the music in that was just incredible. The battle music of it as well, absolutely loved it. So uh, yeah, let me know down below what your favorite music was from the franchise. Now, um, just waiting for myself, in my future self, to press A, there we go, there we are. So it's time for you to dive into the world of Pokemon. Is it really? Oh, I didn't even know I was playing Pokemon. Oh wait, maybe I did. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna throw a Pokeball in the air, right, okay. Oh, and here is our director. Director Clavel, head of Naranja Academy. Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It was also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Really? Okay, that's, that's good, good to know. Ooh, look how cute that is. What a cute little thing. Spoiler alert, I do catch one later. <laughs> Pokemon can be found living all over in the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. 
Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon to do battle, growing alongside them. While our robust curriculum is co of coursework, helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. We and the faculty and staff of the Orange Academy can't wait to welcome you with open arms. Well, I open my arms to you too. Let's do this. Oh yes, and of course with the franchises, there are two Pokemon that are kind of specific to the game. So in this one we have the lovely red Pokemon, the violet, well of course it'll be a violet Pokemon, so actually technically this is a scarlet Pokemon. So uh, yeah, they are uh, specifically for those games only, you can't get them in the other game. So, but this is a nice little cutscene so I'm going to shut up now. They look like flamingos. Maybe that wasn't supposed to happen. Those are some pretty birds. Maybe we'll get to catch them in them later too. That's a long ass black screen, isn't it? Oh, we're loading. I'll be why. And we're saving. Okay. Ah, oh, look, there I am. Bright little boy, ready to go start my Pokemon adventure. Yes, let's get up. Um, Glebo, let's get up. Thank you. Alright. Maybe we'll do a bit of a, um, an explore around the room. Possibly. Or not. <laughs> ah, here we go. Now we're going to walk. Here we are. Oh, let's go. Yes. Quickly in the options. Got to uh, make my text speed quick. No, we don't want to skip load. Move learning. We don't want to we'll send to the boxes mm, automatically. Yeah. Keep the nicknames on. Vital cameras. They can stay the same. Auto saver zones. Cutscenes can stay on. Yeah, the rest of it should be fine, I think. There we go. Lovely. Alright, let's head downstairs. Looks like we're not going to explore. Don't know what I was thinking when I was playing the game. Oh, Muncher. Okay. Weird squirrel. Where? Oh, there's my mother. Or mom, as they uh, call it. Good morning, Clapper. Hi, Mom. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, it's your first day at your new school after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to call your engines before you go racing through the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Well, that's rude. I want to go. I just want to get out and adventure. Apparently there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Oh, speak of the devil. There goes the doorbell. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for, Clubbo. Get the door, would you? Okay. All right, Mom, I'll go get the door. Now, where is the door? That's the interesting question. Is it the back door? No, it doesn't look like it is. And we'll go and explore around. Nice big TV on the wall, I see. And it looks like a... Is that where the squirrel sleeps? Is on the dog? Bed. That's a bit weird. Oh, that's just a random room, okay. Do forgive the intrusion. You are Master Clebo, yes? Um, yes. On behalf of the Academy, I must apologise for the late arrival of your enrolment documents. Ah, and also for my de the delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. Um, okay. Or Clavel? Clavel, maybe? I don't know. We'll call you Clavel for the sake of it. 
the director, and you came in person to help my son with his first day. Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. So here are the last of the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. And it's put in a shopping bag? Very strange. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've all come since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, oh, no need to trouble yourself. Clever, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head up and back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Okay, Mom, I will go get it. Now, Miss Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa. This way. Hmm, that's a bit forceful, Mom. Like, okay. Like, you can calm down a bit. Sheesh. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Well, I think, um, they may end up banging. Anyway, sorry. We'll be kid-friendly now. I'll shut up. Alright, looks like we're, um, gonna head upstairs. Eventually. Here we go. We're gonna head upstairs and, uh, looks like we're gonna go get our hat and bag. But, uh, perhaps we'll, uh, check out some of the things before we do that. So that is the hat and the bag. Am I ready to put it on? Mm, nah, not yet. Let's do some exploring. Oh, what's this? It's a Scovit plush. Alright then. Fair enough. And there's my TV. Oh, today on Ciudad Adventures. Or Ciud Adventures. I don't know. Whatever. Oops, better get going. Okay. Better get going then. Oh, no, look, there's a Nintendo Switch system. This one's got a bigger screen. Mm, not my one then. And whatever these are. Oh, some shelves that my mum put up. Okay. Very nice. There's a map. It's a pretty decent sized island. Oh, and the adventure guide. So you can press X to open the menu, save some. So let's save the options and blah 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 yeah, all of that jazz. So yeah, the adventure guide is uh, it's gonna be helpful, I'm sure. And no, I didn't want to click on that, I wanted to click my bed. Can I can I click the bed? Thank you. It's your soft fluffy bed, it's got a lovely something. Yeah. It's it's lovely. Simple as that. Ready to put on your hat bag. Okay, let's do this. And look at me. Got my nice little backpack, got my nice little hat on. Ready for an adventure. Not really f a fan of the clothing, so we may have to change that at some point when we get round to finding better clothes to be able to put on. So, well, anyway, let's head back downstairs. And, uh, yeah, go back to see my mum and the director. Oh, you just look lovely. You're all ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you. Uh-oh. Oh, gracious. How very careless of me. I have entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Master Clubbo. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? Um, no. What if I don't want to come outside? What if I like the indoors? I wonder what is important. thing might be, let's follow the director and out and see, shall we? Okay, let's do that. Suppose I may as well. Otherwise, I'm not going to get my Pokemon, am I? Now, there are um, some interesting glitches and fun things going on in this game at the moment. I mean, of course, it is was being played on day one. And, uh, yeah, you're never going to have a game that's going to be always great on day one. So, I'm sure a lot of things will get patched as they go. But, we may see some funny glitches on the way. Right then, dear Pokemon. Time to come out of your Pokeballs. Oh, gosh. Oh, looks like we're going to see our free starters. And we do. We provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. Okay. Thank you. Which one will I pick, I wonder? Hmm. That is an interesting question. I mean, I'd love all three. And maybe I will have all three. Hmm. Who knows? But this is Sprigatito, the grass cut Pokemon. Okay. 
It's a rather cute cat, I must say. Alright, it just purred at me. Lovely. This is Fukoko, the Fire Croc Pokemon. Now that is actually a really annoying one, because I, while I was playing this game, I kept calling it Fuoko, so I ended up calling it Fuyo Coco. So that's probably what it's going to be called for the rest of the, the game. And Quaxly. Yes. They're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. And they less left your side, mate. So, what's this? Hmm, so it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Clever, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once you've decided. Now if you'll excuse me. Okay, bye. What a manly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk around with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they'll have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. Cheers, Mum. You've obtained the Rotom Phone. You put the Rotom Phone in your bag to the item pocket. Thank you. Rotom Phone, the latest model of smartphone. A Pokemon called Rotom lives within it, and it can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map app by pressing the Y button. It will help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go, have fun. I will have fun, Mother, thank you. Ah, look at all these things. There's Fuyo Coco, and there's Sprigatito, and there's Quaxley. Ah, oh, look at them, they're gonna follow me as I walk around. Now, I know I'm supposed to go to the house, but we're gonna have a little run wander around, because of course this is supposed to be an open world game, and if it's an open world game, that means I want to explore. So, let's see what my mum is actually uh, even growing, because it looks like she grows a lot of stuff. Like, there's vegetables, there's trees, there's plants, there's, there's all sorts. I was playing around with the camera there as well. Oh, and there's a little Pokeball. Looks like it's going to be an item. So we'll go pick that up. Oh, and it's genuinely a potion. Look at that. Lovely. Beautiful. Well, oh, there's another one up to the left. I don't think I actually went and grabbed that one, though. So it looks like I might have to come back to that when I uh, eventually get back onto the game. So, hmm. Clearly I wasn't paying attention enough when I uh, was playing this the first time. But yeah, we're going to explore around the back of this, so... Wow, is she growing? Oh, there's a nice big palm tree, even more plants, and... I'm just going to walk all over them, because I'm an arsehole. And, or I'm a donut. Or whatever. What are they looking at? Okay, so Quacks is looking over there. Oh, I'm going to interrupt them. Okay. And Fuyo! Go, go. And Sprigatito. So yes, if you uh, kind of already got the Fuyo, that's uh, Uncle Roger. Shout out to him. Absolutely love his videos. Definitely recommend going watching them if you do. I am not sponsored by him, by the way. I just love his videos. So, but yeah, Fuyo, Coco. All right, we're gonna carry on the path. And these guys are gonna follow us as we go. Oh, where's Sprigatito going? Okay, Sprigatito is now just gonna stand there. And now I'm interacting with Fuyo, Coco. Fuyo, Coco. And now Quaxley and Sprigatito are uh, staring at each other. That's a bit strange. They like squaring off. While uh, Sprigatito just keeps squeaking at me and I'm trying to talk to Quaxley and... Nope, just keep talking to Sprigatito. I want to talk to Quaxley. Oh my goodness. Oh, now you purred at me as well. Great, thanks. There we are, now we can talk to Quaxley. There we go. Got him to move again. Happy days. Right, we'll carry on down the path. And then soon enough we should be able to start running. Oh, where are you buggering off to? Oh, over there. Okay, I see. Lovely. Ah, now we can run. Woohoo! Welcome! This is Cabo Poco. 
It's not much, just a little pinch of community, but it's home. I agree. It's a beautiful home. The power of science. The power of science is amazing. If you can connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together, up to four of you at a time. Ooh. Yes. So that is a new feature that they've added to this game, co-op. Can you blooming believe it? They've finally got a co-op open world Pokemon game. I know, it's crazy. But you can have up to four people. So uh, at some point we will be doing that with uh, a couple of my friends. But for now, we are going to uh, play this on in solo mode and uh, play throughout the story. And then once the story is done, then we're going to go into co-op mode. And we'll have plenty of videos on that as well. Because there's uh, some interesting battles we can do as a co-op team. So should be fun. And uh, if you'd like to see that, then uh, let me know down below. Anyway, we are now at our neighbor's house. And, oh, the Pokemon have disappeared. Where have they gone? Oh, so Quaxley, of course, is in the water. I mean, who, why wouldn't he be? Sort of, you know, get that quiff looking good. And Spritito's enjoying the flowers. And Fuyo Coco wants a peach. and then burns the peach. Oh dear. And who is this person? Are you these three strangers? Not quite. Not quite. Master Clubber has yet to make his choice, you see. I do wonder which of them he will choose as a Pokemon. Buddy, your companion, all of that. <laughs> so, who am I going to pick? Hmm. I don't know. I wonder. Leave a comment down below. Like, pause again. Pause the video. Leave a comment down below. Who do you think I'm going to pick? When us, we haven't met. I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hey, on, director. I think. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's new student, Master Club. He will be attending school today. So you're that kid who moved up the road? Yes, I did move up the road. Move in up the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. Okay. I'm Nimona. Or Nimonia. No, Nimona. Normally I live in those school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbour? Want to be friends? Mm, sure, why not? Love that enthusiasm. We're going to get along just fine. Miss Nimona is a president of our student council and the champion ranked trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now, you two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. And you get to know one another better, of course. And we're going to be neighbours and classmates. Nice! We'll be able to battle all the time. I'm sure we will. On that note, Master Bubble. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? But remember to leave a comment down below which one you think I'm going to pick. And we're going for Fuyo Coco. I really should rename him Fuyo. I don't. I just ended up as Fu Coco. Fuyo. Uh, Fu Coco. But I should probably change him to Fuyo Coco. And maybe I will do it at some point when we find a name rater or a, a, a name changer guy. Would you like to go with our good fire type Pokemon, Fukoko, here? Yes. Craw. We're going to take our little uh, crocodile guy and we're going to absolutely smash it. I'm sure. Once Glabo decides to click A again and continue the, uh, the story. Come on. I'm sorry about this, but there was a few times where I... Uh, had to take a break, or I had to stop for a moment to talk to people, whatever. And uh, I'm probably going to cut all of this out. So that's going to be fun. Here we go. You choose for Full Coco. Would you like to give Full Coco a nickname? Um, no. Which I should have really called him Full Yo Coco, as I said. Maybe we'll do at some point. Happy days, we have now got our lovely Full Coco. Full Coco seems to have taken a quite a liking to you, Master Clubber. This is your first Pokemon, yes? 
And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. Or we can just let him out and he can run around and have fun. I, don't know, I can't believe you actually pick, choose for, for Coco. I mean, like the way is the perfect choice for you, you two make such a whatever team. Can I choose one of these Pokemon to di direct to Clavel? I don't know why I just suddenly used Clavel's voice. Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you went to the Academy yourself? Not bad. Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was raising. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Clavel while he raises his new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Clever here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Alright, Pneumonia, what are you going to pick? Oh, you're going to pick Sprigatito. Okay. Since Clever chose for Fuku, I'm going to pick Sprigatito. Welcome to the team. I don't know why you wouldn't just pick the blue one. I eat Quaxley because he's strong against fire, and now you're picking a grass that's weak against fire, so you're going to lose. But I suppose that's the whole part of it is it's a children's game so it's got to be a bit easier but hey hey she picks Sprigatito why not all right then now that we've chosen our Pokemon we have to battle I'll be waiting for you down at the beach come and join me when you're ready as you may have noticed Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling Sorry, I didn't even use his voice. But I do hope you'll enjoy her for a battle. It will help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. Hmm. Alright then. Well, we'll head down to the beach. And then I think we will wrap it up for episode one. So this is the map. We'll uh, be able to have a look around. So we can... This is the Rotom Phone, Handy Rotom Phone. It's a popular item used around the Paldea. Use the map app. And you can find useful information about the region. Very nice. You can then use the left stick to magnify and press the A button so you can see your next destination. Fly taxi. And yes, there we go. There's the map. So there's a nice little fish on there. I'm assuming we'll be able to get out in the water at some point, start catching Pokemon. And that's where we've got to go. The first day of school. Set as our destination to challenge Pneumonia. Is now her name, as I say. I know it's not, but her name is now Pneumonia. So uh over here. No, before I go over there, I'm going to uh, do a bit of a wander around. Ah, look at that. What we got over here? We've got a nice little Pokeball again. Oh, and it turns out to be a Pokeball. Perfect. But yes, we are going to wrap it up here for episode one. So thank you so much for taking the time out of day to watch this video. And if you did like it, don't forget to like and subscribe and to share the video with your friends and family. And of course, click the notification bell to keep up to date with everything that I post. But without further ado, hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Well, I'll see you tomorrow.